Hey guys, have you ever wondered what a messy room looks like before exams? What is it? This room, it's so dirty. I know you guys are nice enough and will say, no Sharika, your room looks fine. Da -da -da -da. No, this, it's a great room. Nah, but for real, I had to clean my room up because I was tired of a constant complaint from my mom. So, and not just that, I was also getting quite distracted. So I thought of recording myself while I was cleaning. And I thought you guys would find that satisfying as well, as much as I found it quite satisfying. So the first place where I actually started cleaning was my storage box as it had a lot of books. And not just that, it's actually quite simple and easy to clean as well. So that's why this is where I normally start my cleaning. I actually got this as a gift um the lash thingy yeah <laughs> it didn't work it was so bad it was actually quite bad but yeah this is about it so i started cleaning my storage box with an antibacterial spray because it was really dusty then i cleaned the small space that was near my storage box i wish it was that quick to clean the way i edited this video after cleaning over i started cleaning my bedside table because of course it was not that hard so obviously i was starting out with the easiest thing that was possible so the second easy thing was my bedside table and oh my goodness the cluttering and all that like it really did make me a bit sick so i had to clean that up as well anyways as i'm looking back at this video i just realized that i lost my water bottle these glosses were given to me by my sister for my birthday i love it anyways so speaking about my water bottle um yeah i actually lost it uh, while i was in um in a lecture and there's actually a funny story and let me tell you how i lost my water bottle and how i was about to get in a fight so before i tell you the story let me do a little background so when i first started out in uni um i suddenly met up with these two girls one of them was quite I mean she was actually quite quiet if that makes sense and the other one like she was a bit of a chatterbox let's call the quiet one lily and let's call the chatterbox mimi so mimi the chatterbox um she was asking me a lot of questions like a lot of personal questions right and obviously by her personal question i wasn't feeling comfortable by her questions because first of all i don't know you why are you asking me questions why are you even talking to me like leave me alone anyways so mimi she was asking me a lot of personal questions right and when she realized that i wasn't really telling her anything she ends up asking me straight up something about my parents i'm not going to mention it here because obviously i still feel a bit uncomfortable by talking about it but she asked me something really personal about my parents and i did not like that and i actually like after the lecture ended yeah like so the lecture was for like two hours so my class ended at like 11 so i called my mom and even my mom was shot she was Wait, what? I was like, Sharika, what are you saying? Like, did she actually say that? So I was like, yeah, mom, like, she actually said that. Even my mom was feeling uncomfortable. So my mom was like, the next day, obviously, I had classes, right? So my mom's like, Sharika, don't talk to her, avoid her. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. I will be avoiding her. Anyway, so it's the next day. And obviously, we had a little field trip because um, I'm in School of Engineering. And uh, normally, what my course does is that we're supposed to look at properties and all that just so that we have an idea of what we're learning so mimi she starts talking to me and so does one of her friend i wouldn't say much about her because i feel like she was agreeing to everything that mimi was saying but she was quiet she was neutral but then again i don't like people like that like how on earth are you neutral and you're allowing your friend to talk to me like that like does that make sense anyways then we walk past by like this little pond or something or a river yeah it was a river yeah so um now if you guys don't know like i'm actually bangladeshi and bangladeshi people they eat a lot of fish right so what she said was something extremely racist um she's pakistani so she's like oh sharika are you actually gonna jump in the river and get some fish for yourself and i was shocked like i did not expect her to say that because mind you guys we're not friends and even if we were friends like she's not supposed to talk to me like that anyway so while we were on this trip um i saw this guy and he just seemed very confident like he was like you know going around talking to people 
but this one person that one particular person that he was really hitting was a black girl mimi and her other friend noticed that and they did not like that they were going off they were like oh he's such a f boy like you know he goes around and he's flirting with people he's so shameless like he's got no respect or whatsoever like that's one shameless man and i was like and then and then they started to call him ugly and he was like oh my gosh he's so ugly he's so ugly and i was like you know what like i don't think he's that ugly like i don't think like that i actually think he's actually quite good looking because he was good looking if i find someone good looking i would call them good looking regardless i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say something else if i find you good looking and if you, if i don't like you i would still find you good looking when i said that i find him good looking they gave me that one look disgusting he's the only living and i could tell that they did not like that and i feel like they were jealous about the fact that this black girl was getting more attention than anyone else in that class anyways fast forward there was like um a couple of girls i think maybe two or three girls um they were talking to me calling me beautiful right and i was like oh girl like thank you so much and then guess what she did she ends up telling those girls oh she's wearing makeup she's wearing makeup looking at her and i was like wow like maybe are you really gonna stoop that low like are you okay that is embarrassing like are you okay on that very same day we found out that we had a presentation um so i'm like all prepared i've written down my script what i'm going to do what i'm going to say and there was like six of them okay so sorry there was like six of us right and basically what happened i like got really sick like i was violently sick like my nose was all itchy my eyes were all puffy like to a point i could not leave the house like i was so sick and i completely forgot the fact that i even took a picture of a snapchat on the very first day we took each, each other's snapchat right like she was like, okay fine like let me just add you so obviously i don't i don't use snapchat so obviously i don't know my snapchat's username because obviously i don't use it like that so i was like you know what like let me just take a picture of your snapchat and then i'll add you so that was like on the very first day okay and then fast forward to two weeks prior to two weeks um suddenly i'm like violently sick and i'm like yeah i can't go to i can't go to class like i need to i can't go to class so i missed one day of class and obviously they were doing the presentation and honestly there was like six of them so i don't think if me being there or me not being there i don't think that would have even make a difference anyway so it is the next day and i see mimi's other friend okay so i forgot her name i anyways so i see mimi's other friend and i'm like hey girl like i'm sorry i couldn't come um i was very sick i hope you understand and she was giving me that attitude she was like hmm okay yeah whatever like what kind of a sick person do you have to be about the fact that i literally told you that i was violently sick and the fact that i even came the next day pretty much she was very still care about the group she was giving me the attitude right she was like mm -hmm, okay whatever there was this other girl like she kind of understood my point and she was happy the fact that i came and guess who didn't come mimi didn't even come so while six of us explained what our presentation was about and what we were doing there was like a bunch of questions like the teachers were asking and other group students were asking as well and it was too much because it felt like at this point we were being grilled i swear and me and this other girl the girl that actually understood my situation that i was sick me and the other girl completely covered it up right we were like one point away from winning if she could have made it if she could have been here then we would have won but she didn't even come so obviously in that group presentation we were second because obviously we all did our part but um yeah we didn't win anyways so then um the second week comes by and i smile at her i'm like hi and she completely ignores me and so does her friend um the one that's quiet so i'm like okay fine whatever so a few weeks goes by suddenly she's looking at me and i'm uh, uh, i'm ignoring her right and then finally she literally stands in front of me and she's like hi sharika so i'm like oh hi so i feel like the reason why she even spoke with me was because she thought that i was actually really smart i mean i am somewhat smart like i, I know what i'm doing i understand my what my course is about she's like yeah we need more smart people in this team so one thing that i've noticed is that every time she gets the chance um she would age shame me and normally one thing about me is that i am not insecure about my age i've never been i never will be maybe i was at some point but 
not anymore not anymore anyway so now as i'm in my 20s she would often be like oh it's so embarrassing that you're not married yet like why aren't you married that is so embarrassing because if i was your age i would have been married by now so bitch like where is your man then where is your man she said that she was going to get married when she is like what 2021 so she's 20 19 years old that's what she told me so where is your man now hmm i didn't like at that time i didn't say anything but obviously every time she would make comments like that like it would actually make me feel like i know i felt very uncomfortable because obviously marriage and relationship is not my goal right now what my goal is right now is for me to build my career is for me to be um an independent woman because obviously um i am like i am basically restarting my life if that makes sense so obviously i am trying to get somewhere i'm not trying to impress anyone okay i'm not so obviously at that time i didn't really say anything but yes i was pissed and i was slowly um ignoring her because she would like make some racist comments as well I, I feel like she was a bit like bitter about the fact that there was a war between bangladesh and pakistan and the fact that we we won i feel like she was a still she was still a bit bitter about it anyways um so obviously i didn't say much and i completely ignored her and then she would randomly come up to me talk to me and then she would be like how old is your sister so i would be like oh this is how old my sister is so then she would be like oh my gosh and she's still not married yet that is so embarrassing because if i was her age i would have at least been married by 21 i would have been married by 21 and i'm like is it like is she for real like why does she keep coming out of nowhere so obviously at that time i kind of excused myself because i was i was fuming okay i end up leaving that area but then i was like you know what like i need to tell her today because the way she keeps insulting me every now and then like it is not okay so then i actually um pulled her aside and i was like hey um i don't like how you're talking to me i don't feel comfortable and i hope that in the future that you wouldn't ask me any more personal questions like that and even if you do then please Please refrain from trying to look down on me for whatever the situation is so then what she says she's like if you have a problem with the way i talk then maybe we shouldn't be friends we were never friends i i straight up put that out i'm like we were never friends we will never be friends because you've got a nasty attitude and i don't like that do you remember any other times where i ever asked you any personal questions about what your mom does what your dad does or even like did i ask you anything personal no i never did so what makes you think that you have a right to ask me such personal questions and then you would try to embarrass me and insult me because of a situation like who do you think you are that is so like that that is low of you and obviously she's like oh shut the f up i'm like you shut up and i was screaming at her mind you guys at that time i still didn't have any friends i was like a complete loner for like two three months um security guard got involved because obviously they could tell like there was going to be a fight and that i was going to beat their ass up i mean her ass up and then after the security guard got involved obviously i will i i'm the one that walked away because obviously first of all i didn't want to get out of uni okay i'm paying for it i'm paying nine grand for it a year so obviously um i walk away um and the girls um my classmates feel like we heard everything like are you okay like you were so mature about it you were so um polite the way you spoke like she's she's the one at it like is everything okay and then i end up telling them even my lecturer wanted to know what was going on and why i screamed at them like that because he knows me for like three four months and he knows that i am a sweet person and that i wouldn't like shout at anyone like that right so he's like sharika is everything okay like what happened i'm like sorry sir like this is what happened and he's like i am so sorry that you even went through that like i'm 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 gen i genuinely are like i apologize to you on their behalf i'm sorry that you even faced that like in our campus so it was actually really nice and then from there i actually made not one but like i think i made like six friends and they were all so nice and uh yeah till this day we're still friends and no i don't talk to them they and it looks like I'm almost done with my cleaning while I was giving you a little story time. So guys, please make sure that you guys subscribe as well because it will really mean the world to me um, because I do put in a lot of time and work in my videos. So it would really mean a lot. And plus, I have a lot more stories coming up. Make sure if you guys enjoy this kind of videos, then do let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. This is what my lo room looks like. I know it still looks a bit messy, but this was literally on the same day. I still haven't really like you know organize my room like that
and this is what my room looks like after yes i still had class the next day so it was kind of hard for me to even organize a bit but this is the least i could do um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and comment i'll see you guys later on bye